Hi, welcome to Hikate's Crossing with the Tarot de Massier. Okay, this one here is um, the Claude Bedell deck from 1751. Okay, it's based on that with Los Caraba Scarabia. Okay, this deck, I just want to sort of um, talk about um, Tarot de Massier is a was what we call TDM traditional well it is a sort of a traditional deck it is tarot de Massier. so this deck i've been working with and i've been looking at different meanings um what the cards mean and so what i want to do is i've gone through and done the major arcana um looking at each of the suits we've got the chalices or cups we've got um swords okay we've got the baton or wands and we have um le denier or um Discs or pentacles, or coins, if you like to call them. Okay, so what I'm going to do at the moment is actually look at um, the chalices. Okay, I've been looking at some of the meanings and that came with the little white book and having a look on YouTube at different um, Tarot de Massier videos and what people are saying. And we're looking at, um, we sort of start with the chalice here the ace okay the ace is all about um abundance and prosperity new beginnings okay you've got the two of chalices which is about passion but it's also about for me when i look at this deck i feel like it's very much about choices um it's all about balance having the balance of what's going on um there might be some decisions to be made it could be about opposites, opposites attract, being sort of different colours. When you look at the um, when you look at the at the top here. So this card here, traditionally in the book, in the little white book, is passion. Then we have three of cups, which is about the birth. So this is about the birth of something. Um, four. Of chalices talks about growth okay five of chalices talks about don't worry about spilt milk you know there's some things in life we can control other things we can't it's a sense of fear you know what do we fear um, here we have six Okay. okay, six of chalices is a sense of harmony. Okay. Seven imagination. So we're looking at lots of choices that you might have, and it's about using your imagination and how you can achieve that, maybe on some level. Eight is a sense of maturity. So maybe things are maturing, things are developing within the situation. Nine is virtue. How do you choose to react to the situation? Ten tells us everything sort of coming together. We're sort of being um, recognised for what we've achieved. Okay, we've got the page. And he talks about being confident in the situation, being confident in who he is. Knight. Okay, he could be a youth who brings news on some level. We've got the queen, who could be a wife, or a um, someone who's quite caring, passion, in the little white book. Okay, and here we have this guy who's an artist, he's very intelligent in what he achieves. There's lots and lots of keywords that you can use to further your readings. So let's have a look, a little look, I'm going to random cuts. 
we're talking about emotions. We're talking about love, dreams, your soul, your feelings, artistry. Okay, so let's do, we've got five, six, and seven. So you've got the sense of what do you fear when you want to create harmony in your life. Um, and it could be about using, you know, needing to use your imagination to um, create what you want in that journey. Okay, so that's the um, chalices. Okay, just real quick keywords. If you can further your enhancement, there's some really great um, must, uh, Table de Massier um, videos on YouTube already. This was just a really quick, basic um, understanding. Now, what I want to actually show you is a journal. It was my journal. Okay, this is just an um, IB8, and it's just writing information in which I find interesting in regards to tarot. So I looked at um, the little white book, and um, yeah, I, some of the words I might not have used this time, um, because every time you do a reading, different words will come through, um, I find, for me. So for me, when I wrote these down, I talked about what I should have done. Really start again. 